My name is Janelle Wu. I'm a double board certified OB-GYN and reproductive endocrinologist and fertility specialist. Welcome to Good Luck Luke, where we break down women's health and wellness in a way that's relatable and easy to understand. Join us as we navigate topics, share stories, and empower each other to prioritize our well-being. And let's dive in and make health accessible for every woman. As of late, Ozempic has been making waves across social media platforms, even catching the attention of high profile figures like Elon Musk and gaining coverage in publications like the New York Times. Let's delve into the truth about this medication. Originally approved by the FDA in 2017 for managing type 2 diabetes and aiding in weight loss, Ozempic, also known as semi-glutide, saw a surge in popularity for off-label use as a weight loss aid. Repackaged as Mugovi, it gained FDA approval specifically for weight loss when used alongside lifestyle changes for individuals struggling with obesity or being overweight. Wegovi is a once-weekly injection approved by the FDA in 2021 for chronic weight management. One small study evaluating 175 participants with a BMI of 27 and higher who were given weekly semiglutide injections found that participants lost an average of 14 pounds after three months. This surge in popularity fueled by success story on TV, TikTok, led to a rush for prescriptions resulting in shortage that endangered those who genuinely needed medication for diabetes management. However, amidst the bus, misinformation began to spread. Some claim Ozempic worked by preventing calorie absorption, but in reality, it functioned as an appetite suppressant and gastric emptying moderator. This means it reduces appetite and delays stomach emptying, leading to the consumption of fewer calories and subsequent weight loss. Yet, exaggerated claims of weight loss overshadow the potential side effects including nausea, vomiting, particularly when excessive food intake occur. Additionally, while Ozempic may lead to the weight loss, it can also result in the loss of lean muscle mass, which is concerning. It's crucial for doctors to monitor patients closely, adjusting doses, and providing nutritional guidance to minimize side effects and maintain overall health. Moreover, relying on Ozempic for weight loss without addressing lifestyle factors can lead to weight regain once the medication is discontinued, potentially causing additional health issues. Ultimately, while Ozempic may offer benefits for some, it's essential to approach its use with caution, ensuring it's part of a comprehensive plan for long-term health and well-being. However, there's some downside of Ozempic. It costs about $900 to $1,300 a month. It is not known if Ozempic will cause thyroid tumors or a type of thyroid cancer called medullary thyroid carcinoma. It is advised that one should not use Ozempic if you or any of your family have ever had this disease or you have an endocrine system condition called multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome, type 2. Hey, it's Good Luck Luke! If you like this content, be sure you're clicking that like button and follow to stay tuned on all things fertility and women's empowerment. You've probably seen on TikTok that people are getting pregnant with Ozempic. So how does Ozempic relate with fertility? When you're on Ozempic and losing weight, it helps with the hormonal access and communication oscillation that starts happening more regularly. Ozempic causes weight loss. It actually improves the communication and feedback mechanism between the ovary and the brain. And what, when that happens, guess what? Ovulation will become more regularly for these patients. Some patients with PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome start to get their period more regularly while on Ozempic and got pregnant. The pregnancy is likely benefit surrounding from the result of the weight loss. And then at the same time, from nowhere, we've seen patients on social media saying that they were on birth control pills, but because while they're taking Ozempic, they got pregnant accidentally. For that part, we are unclear how the medication is interacting with the birth control pills that causes the pregnancy. We don't know if it is because the Ozempic has decreased the effectiveness of the birth control pills, or that because of the delayed gastric emptying that may have decreased the absorption of the birth control pills. Despite all these fertility boosting benefits of Ozempic, women who are seeking to conceive should definitely stop from using Ozempic for two months before trying to conceive. Studies in rats have shown concerning outcomes like fetal death and abnormalities when pregnant rats were given Ozempic. It takes about six weeks for Ozempic or similar medication to be gone from the body. So once again, someone who is planning to conceive should stop Ozempic at least two months prior to conception. If you are on Ozempic, it's wise to use additional birth control methods like IUDs or barriers and please talk to your physicians and doctors for further information. We are still learning about Ozempic mysteries and so keep your conversation going with your doctor. So there you have it folks, understanding the effect of Ozempic on fertility is a journey, both knowledge and guidance.
guidance so we can make informed decisions about our health. Hi, it's Dr. Luke. I hope you really liked this video. And if you did, I just want to mention that in the host Instagram lives on my page at Good Luck Luke. This is a time where I go live for 30 minutes and answer all of your questions in the style of a live Q&A. So if you are interested in learning how weight loss can impact your fertility journey, be sure to follow me on both YouTube and Instagram. This is Good Luck Luke, wishing you the best of luck on your journey.